Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be discussing algebraic practice review. The first definition we will go over is for corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent. Remember that corresponding angles mean that they're in the exact same position. So looking at the diagram, this angle here is congruent to this angle here. They are in the exact same position, the upper right position. Next, we have an angle bisector. An angle bisector creates two congruent parts. So for example, I have angle B, A, C, and I have AD cutting that angle into two congruent parts, this angle and this angle. So angle BAD is congruent to CAD, or remember, I can label each angle as one and two. Angle one is congruent to angle two. Make sure to label the diagram with one and two as well. So remember, an angle bisector creates two congruent parts. Next, we have an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and two congruent base angles. So for example, I have the congruent sides. BA is congruent to CA, and I have the congruent base angles. So angle ABC is congruent to angle ACB. And again, I can label these one and two. Angle one is congruent to angle two. So in an isosceles triangle, the two sides are congruent and the base angles are congruent. Next, I have supplementary angles. Supplementary angles add to 180 degrees and you should look for a straight line. Remember the S in supplementary can turn into an eight, which means 180 degrees. So for example, here at the bottom line PQ is a straight line and the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if I add 48 plus 132, that equals 180 degrees. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, and those are called supplementary angles. So always be on the lookout for straight lines. Next, we have angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So here I have a triangle, and the degrees inside are 109 degrees, 23 degrees, and 48. When I add up all of those numbers, they equal 180 degrees. So interior angles, or angles inside a triangle, add up to 180. Always identify triangles, and remember that the angles inside add up to 180 degrees. Lastly, we have a diagram and we're asked how many triangles are there? So there are many triangles in this diagram. Let's try to identify them. So first, I have the large triangle. Next, I have triangle MOS. Then I have triangle MSN. Then I have triangle M-O-R. Then I have triangle O-R-N. Then I have triangle M-O-T. Then I have triangle T-O-S. Then I have triangle M-T-R. Notice that this triangle this is actually not a triangle. That's not a triangle. So I think I have eight triangles. So for questions like this, always be able to locate different types of triangles because remember, in a triangle, the interior angles add up to 180 degrees.